Hi there, welcome to Noctis on YouTube. The fishing industry is one of the largest industries in the maritime world. It supplies fresh seafood to various supermarkets, markets, and restaurants worldwide. The increasing export and import trade has led industry players to innovate by canning fish to preserve them and avoid spoilage during transportation to different countries. To meet these demands, the Sevelot Sibirtsev, a floating fish processing factory ship, was constructed. Essentially, this floating factory is a large vessel with an overall length of 179 meters, a width of 28 meters, and a draft of 7.9 meters. Its size even surpasses that of the Project 941 nuclear submarines or the Akula class, which have a length of up to 172 meters. Sailing under the Russian flag, this ship was first built in 1989 in Finland and registered in the port of Nakhotka, Russia. The vessel catches various types of fish, including blue mackerel, chop mackerel, Japanese flying squid, neon flying squid, sardines, Pacific sari, and many more. The construction of this ship was meticulously planned down to every detail. Special cabins for the ship's crew are located at the bow and stern, each equipped with amenities akin to comfortable hotel rooms. Additionally, the ship is outfitted with other facilities such as a gym, cinema, sauna, and even a hospital. On the first, second, and third decks, there are working areas equipped with authentic fish processing factories with special fish processing conveyors. Below deck, there are three vertical rooms for storing fish from raw to finished products. The bridge section of the ship contains rooms for operations, equipped with the most modern equipment ranging from ship speed to fuel reserves. The latest navigation equipment also complements this ship's bridge. The captain plays a crucial role in operating this vessel. They ensure the smooth operation of the ship and regularly report its condition to the authorities on shore. It's worth noting that as per its project, the Sibirtsev has a high navigation autonomy of up to 80 days. However, in reality, the ship can sail for much longer periods. In fact, there's a possibility that the ship can go without refueling for three to four months. The crew also need not worry about running out of food supplies as the ship has a large pantry specifically stocked for the crew. Sevolot Sibirtsev is built with high security standards. For instance, if two adjacent compartments are flooded, the ship remains afloat and operational. Operating this ship isn't easy, mainly due to its massive size. Furthermore, strong sea winds can cause the ship to drift at speeds of up to 50 meters per second. In such conditions, the ship must maintain a balanced state to prevent tilting more than 2 degrees. To avoid such undesirable situations, Sevolot Sibirtsev is equipped with a strong balancing system consisting of five 200-ton tanks on each side, adjusted to its angle of lift. In addition to the balancing system, the machinery in the engine room of this ship also plays a crucial role, from propelling the ship to powering the production processes inside the fish factory. All mechanics aboard are directly supervised by the head mechanic to ensure that all machinery and electrical systems on the ship function properly. The 
The mechanical captain of Sevolod Sibirtsev also revealed that the ship has a seawater distillation system with a technical capacity of up to 455 tons per day. To produce such an amount of water, it requires machines that operate well and consume 7 tons of fuel per day. Thus, water becomes a special commodity aboard this ship. The water distillation process on this ship utilizes modern and economical technology in the form of devices based on a principle called reverse osmosis. These reverse osmosis devices work by using special water permeable membranes that can retain seawater salt. The liquid that passes through these barriers will then be converted into fresh water suitable for various purposes, such as bathing, washing, or even drinking. The remaining concentrate, which is salt water or waste water, can be discharged back into the sea. As mentioned earlier, Severod was built in 1989, meaning it was during the existence of the Soviet Union. At that time, the ship was at its peak and recognized as the best fish processing factory ship in the eastern region. When the Soviet Union collapsed, tough times ensued in Russia, especially in its economy. Several years after the collapse of the Soviet Union, Sevolod Sibirtsev was sold at a very cheap price to Greece and China. However, that plan was cancelled until eventually the new owner of the ship, the shipping company Dobroflot, decided to modernize this factory ship. They began adding various equipment such as conveyors and freezers. Additionally, they started repairing the engine room and work deck. Thus, this giant-sized fish processing factory ship can operate optimally to this day. This 15-story high ship can produce up to 600 tons of fish every day in the middle of the ocean. Production managers continuously oversee the process of packaging fresh fish using cans. There are hundreds of crew members working in the workspace of the ship's deck, starting from the direct fishing process in the ocean, fish cleaning, sorting and cutting, to packaging the fish into cans. In this dedicated fish production deck, workers sort fresh fish into trays capable of holding up to 20 kilograms of fish each. These fish are then placed back into rooms with temperatures as low as minus 50 degrees. Every day, several trawl ships begin supplying raw materials to this floating factory and communicate with security personnel on shore. This also requires assistance from reefer ships like the Garmonia. The Garmonia reefer ship has an overall length of 103 meters and a width of 17 meters sailing under the Russian flag. Similar to the Sevolod Sibirtsev, this ship also sails under the Russian flag. After the canning process is completed on Sevolod Sibirtsev, the canned food products produced on this ship will be promptly transferred to the Garmonia ship. This is done to avoid complicating the operations on the Sevolod Sibirtsev, which is currently operating in the Okhotsk Sea. Transferring fresh fish or canned fish cargo is quite challenging as it is done in the middle of the ocean where the seawater constantly moves, making it difficult for the ship to maintain balance. Canned food is specifically placed in boxes and then transferred to the Garmonia ship using a crane. Meanwhile, fresh fish is transferred using large-sized special nets capable of carrying loads of 60 to 100 tons of fish. These fish loads are placed into freezers provided on board the Garmonia. Subsequently, the Garmonia ship can return to port to distribute its cargo and send it to various regions.
There's another interesting fact about the Sevolotsibirtsev ship. Despite being a fish processing factory ship, it once played a crucial role in rescuing the trawl ship Delny Vostok, which sank in the Okhotsk Sea in April 2015. From this incident, seven people suffered serious injuries and 56 others were declared dead. Fortunately, 63 people were rescued. The presence of Sevolot Sibirtsev, with its complete hospital facilities covering an area of 400 square meters along with its competent medical staff, helped in the evacuation process of the victims from the sinking of the trawl ship Delny Vostok.